Hello and welcome to Wednesday Waffle. And what am I going to waffle about this week? Well, you may notice or you may not, I've had a haircut. I've also been away on another day trip with Lindsay. And I want to talk about some medical and political advice and peace and quiet. You'll see what's coming up in a moment. It won't be a long one today because I've just got very little to say and there'll be some drone footage coming up. I hope you enjoy that. But here we go. We went away to Spey Viaduct, otherwise known as Garmouth Viaduct, down the River Spey, nearly at the mouth, and just a short distance from uh, Spey Bay itself. We had a great chill day, a chat to the Coast Guard, and uh, it got quite busy, but I still managed to fly the drone a couple of times and we uh, we had fun. Saw a lot of bird life and uh, generally chilled. It did start to rain fairly early, so we, we headed home and uh, settled in at home for the night. The, uh, the haircut happened. <laughs> well, it happened because I... Uh, I needed a haircut, it was getting too long, too heavy, it was getting me down um, and at some point I'll need to trim the beard a little as well. Um, that was part of the deal, I was getting Lindsay to do the haircut. Um, so, and uh, as many think upon the internet, it wasn't because of the interview that took place at midnight on Sunday night. Um, the link to that is in my community tab if you want to go and have a look at the uh, the drone community having a chat, or some of the drone community, one particularly part of it, the Canadian Drone Hub. And, uh, well, my other advice, my other part of this was going to be about medical advice and political advice. We're in currently phase one of the easing of lockdown. And the advice for that is uh, I can go out five miles and have a day trip. The advice as we move into phase two, which is due to happen a week on Thursday, if things continue the way they are, it's the only thing I can see that is different, relevant, is that it removes the five mile an hour distance, but it's still got to be a day trip. So we'll see how that advice goes and see where we're moving from and onwards with the ease down from lockdown. But that then comes to something that uh, the First Minister said when she was stood on her hind legs giving her daily briefing one day, which is, uh, sorry, I, I paused there because I wanted to get it straight, but I, I'm going to have to paraphrase it. Basically, nobody should be punished for taking medical advice. Okay, where does that lead me? Well, my medical advice from my therapist, my psychiatrist, is to get out and away as much as humanly possible. And it has been since before the lockdown started. So which do I take? The medical advice or the political advice? Well, to be honest, I'm coping. So I will continue to keep everybody safe by staying dangerously indoors when it's safer to go outside. That's political and medical. Let's move on. <laughs> the other part of this um, is to do with the Black Lives Matter. Now, I've got no argument with that. Because my argument is, all lives matter. Pink, yellow, green, blue, purple, yellow polka dot, sky blue, pink with yellow dots, whatever. All life matters. But to hear one of them say, silence is consent to the oppression, no it isn't. Not in this case, 
My silence on the matter up to now has been because you've done yourselves no favours by allowing rioters to join what should be a peaceful protest. There is no need to desecrate things to get your point across. Silence is not consent. It is not getting involved with people who have a further agenda and it's not just to, to further their cause of, of protest, it's to loot, to pillage, to destroy. And that's all I'm going to say. Thanks for listening this far to Desmond Saunders. I'm going to leave you some drone footage now from a trip last year and uh, hope you enjoy that. Take care. Enjoy Friday's video on uh, Bokobas. And in that one, I think we find the entrance to Narnia and Hogwarts Primary School. Take care, be safe, and bye for now.
Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.